morning from New Haven. It is very cold, as you can see, and we are up to work on various projects. Katie has YouTube videos to edit, and I have a prospectus to write. So, big day of work, and we are heading over to Attica's to grab some coffee because my Nespresso machine, as I told you yesterday, has gone on strike. And while the logical th conclusion would be to figure out how to fix it, I've just decided to go spend money on coffee at a local coffee shop instead. We're supporting a small business. That's what we're telling ourselves. And that's essentially the update. Last night was a little bit of a wash. I had some personal stuff come up and just needed to focus on that. And now it is time to get back to work. I have no eyebrows. What a <laughs> it is that? Anyhow, we'll check in a little while later. about the sponsor of today's video, which is Factor. I have been working with Factor for the last couple of months now, and they are a meal prep delivery service that provides nutritious meals that you can put into your fridge and then take out and put in the microwave for two minutes. They create some of the most incredibly nutritious and delicious meals as you see in this video. I was luckily sent a box at the beginning of the week that I was writing and submitting my prospectus as you see in this vlog. And it was just so helpful because I was incredibly stressed. And as a student who also runs businesses and has a busy lifestyle, knowing that I have nutritionally complete meals that I can easily grab from my fridge and then go ahead and put in the microwave to have a quick and easy meal is just so so nice and so convenient and if you're a student who just needs some backup meals and you just want to ensure that if you don't have time to meal prep or if you don't have time to cook that day that you'll always have something to rely on i just highly recommend factor also when you order your box from factor you can say how many boxes you want per week you can also customize it so if you have a particular type of diet so for example if you don't have dairy in your diet if you're vegan if you are keto then you can also add those personalizations to your package and if you're wanting to check out their meal prep service for the new year then go ahead and check out the links down below thank you again so much to factor for sponsoring today's video and now let's get back into the vlog I am having a really terrible perfectionist day. I sat down on my computer when we got back and started working on my prospectus and have just been rewriting the same three sentences for the last over an hour and have decided that I need to take a step away and go back to the literature and just remind myself of why I'm getting a PhD because I feel like I can't do anything and that everything that I write is stupid. There's a book that my advisor recommended that I work with and it looks at slavery in the early modern period, early modern Atlantic. It's one that I need to discuss in my literature section, but I haven't actually read it yet. So this is something he had recommended that I dig into. So I'm gonna spend the next couple hours dissecting it and then hopefully gives me some ideas on how it is that I can proceed with the prospectus because I'm just getting frustrated and I'm getting down on myself. So I'm gonna take a slightly different course of action and hope that that rectifies some bit of the situation and makes it so that way I can actually write this afternoon. So that's my plan.
right, it is off to the doctor's office now. I have a general checkup to do, go over a couple things, including my lungs, deciding that now is the time for me to experience terrible asthma again and just get everything checked out. So I have postponed this or rescheduled this appointment two other times and I'm not allowed to do it again. So off we go to the student's health center. How am I supposed to leave you? Look at your little face. Let me see if I love you. Guess who showed up a day early for her doctor's appointment? Me. My appointment's not until tomorrow, so I'm going home. I have made so much progress. I finally got through my little writing rut. I had been working on the prospectus. I finally have what I think is probably a next to complete introduction. I have the method section pretty much written. I'm just incorporating some of my advisor's comments. I do, however, need to go back and look at some of the other sections in the methodology because there's like, three parts to the methodology section because there's reading for blackness in the early modern archive there's quantitative analyses or quantitative practices and then i also have one on accountability and positionality as a white scholar in black studies specifically studying black women's reproductive labor in the early modern period i need to completely revise my literature review section I am not super happy with it. It's just not complex enough. There's so much to dig into. There's three different discourses that I'm trying to engage and I think that they're overlapping, but they don't at the moment speak to one another. And so I'm trying to figure out the language to describe that relationship. Chapter outlines look good. Bibliography looks good. Work plan I think looks pretty good. So we're on a roll. Finally, feel like I have a little bit more to say. I'm going to need to go back to the reading for a little while at some point today because I just don't feel like I have super solid ground in the literature at the moment. I can give you a general summary, but I feel like discussing it in depth and pulling quotes and all that stuff, I just need to go back to my notes and go back to the reading a little bit. But making really good progress, I'm definitely gonna get it done in time, thank goodness. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just make up some food. I got in a package from Factor the other day and i have just been loving working with them this one is the artichoke and spinach chicken that just sounds perfect so they just come like this and you just put it in the microwave for two minutes it's honestly the easiest thing possible and it makes it so i don't have to cook because i am stressed right now and i don't want to cook at all so I'm just gonna pop that in there and then get back to my desk and continue getting to work on the prospectus. My goal is to hit the page slash word count by the end of today. I don't think that's gonna be a problem because the minimum is 25 pages and I'm already at 22. And that's not even with the entire literature review. I only have three pages of a literature review when it should probably be 10. So I have a lot of writing to do, but feels good to finally get in the zone and I feel like I actually have some things to say. We're getting there guys, one step at a time. Good morning, it is the next day. I made a lot of progress on the prospectus yesterday, but began to feel a little fried. So I ended up actually going to bed early and then having stress dreams that I didn't turn in the prospectus on time, even though it's due today. So I have obviously a lot of work to do on it today. So I am going to be cracking on. I'll be at my desk all day and trying to see what I can manage to pull together. Luckily, I work really well under pressure and it gets me into trouble because then it gets to points like this where I have all the ideas and they finally come together on the last day before it's due. 
in all fairness, I say that I procrastinate and I make jokes about it. And technically I do procrastinate some of the writing. However, I've been doing the groundwork and working on pulling the quotes and doing everything that I needed long before this point. And I've had the skeleton from my prospectus for I think like nine months now. I wrote it back in the spring. So I've been working on this prospectus for what feels like forever. It's just a matter of the writing becomes the most difficult part for me. And I am slowly trying to flex that muscle and try to figure out how to make it a bit more of a simplistic process, but we're not there yet. So we're working on it, but I'm gonna take you along for the rest of the day and turn in this prospectus. So help me God. <laughs> has been made. I have gotten about 21 pages of actually good quality writing done. I have five pages written for the literature review, but I don't want to use any of them. And I'm basically reworking the entire thing. But there are bits and pieces I'm sure that I'll still use. I just needed to kind of rework the framework and making good progress. So I'm going to continue on. My advisor just sent an email saying that we could have an extension if we wanted it, but I will not be taking that extension because I need for the sake of my mental health, this prospectus to be submitted. So you're getting it done today, cup hell or high water. Well, let's just make it happen because I cannot work on this prospectus another day after this. <laughs> this is about cost efficiency and getting as close to a heart attack as possible while still remaining as product as productive as possible <laughs> bundled. We've got Sarah here. Hello. We stopped at Shake Shack and to get boba. I've got all the provisions that I need to finish this godforsaken prospectus. I got some chicken nuggets. This is reminiscent of my under co undergrad college days. Chloe will know what I mean. And I'm fully bundled. I'm waddling like a freaking penguin. And we're heading over to HQ to get some work done. Mission accomplished. 
and it is only 10.07 p.m., which means that I got this done nearly two hours before I thought I was going to. So all the people that went on my poll and said that I was screwed, <laughs> this is for you. <laughs> but I just got that voice. Wow, this angle is really unflattering. <laughs> we did it. I am now going to go ahead and sleep for the next 24 hours. That is a lie. I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and I'm gonna wanna do other stuff, but everybody, including Chanel, is requiring, nope, it's great. Are you sure? Yep, is requiring that I take the day off and I'm going to try to listen to their advice. That is the end of today's vlog. So I hope you enjoyed coming along this journey with me and Miss Sarah, <laughs> my trusted study buddy. And remember to like, follow, subscribe, so you can watch more chaotic PhD vlogs in the future. Follow and but subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. There we go. Comment, subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Adios.